Hello everyone and welcome to another video. This video is a little bit special. This is not a documentary as we usually do or any type of fact-based video. Purely my own opinion. So before we start, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button and comment your opinion down below. Also consider to donate to our PayPal account so that you can help us survive. More information will be provided in the description box below. And hey, if you want more opinion based videos hit the like button make sure that you tell us which opinion you want us to share with you guys and we will for sure listen to our followers and do as you say now without further ado let's get into the video what we're gonna talk about today is one thing that i believe is a very big problem within the kurdish people today it is a problem that risks a lot of things and it's a problem that you today can decide to become a part of the solution. Now we're going to compare three situations. We have Kosovo. Modern Kosovo was before 2008 controlled by the neighboring country Serbia and in 2008 Kosovo declared independence from Serbia. Albanians from Kosovo has historically been persecuted by the Serbian government in Serbia which until this day have been creating a big tension between the two peoples. In our second situation we have Israel and Palestine. This conflict has been ongoing for a long time where the Israeli authorities and Palestinian insurgency groups are in a long going war about land and power in the area. In this situation Israel has the upper hand as they are officially independent controlling the area which they both claim and fight for. Now our third situation the Kurdish one we have an area known as Kurdistan occupied by four different countries Turkey, Iran, Iraq and Syria. The Kurdish people has historically been fighting for their independence and has throughout the years been persecuted and harassed for their struggle. There is over 45 million Kurds in all of Kurdistan and the Kurdish people are unlike the two other situations divided between several other countries. When I talk with other Kurdish people, getting to know them, I often hear them saying, I'm Kurd from Turkey or I'm Kurd from Iraq. And this bothers me a little bit. Let me ask everyone watching this video, have you ever heard any Albanian individual say, I'm Albanian from Serbia? Or any Palestinian guy saying, I'm Palestinian from Israel? I don't know about you, but I have never heard that before. So to my point, Stop saying Kurds from Iran, Kurds from Syria, Kurds from Iraq and Kurds from Turkey. Stop right away normalizing these countries as your home country. Because you are participating in fading away Kurdistan. Now you might ask how else are we going to describe which part of Kurdistan we are from. Few people actually understand the terms Bakur, Bashur, Rojava and Rojhalat. But hey, I got two solutions for you. The first is, spread the words about our parts. Learn those who doesn't know that Bakur stands for Turkish Occupied Kurdistan, Bashur stands for Iraqi Occupied Kurdistan, Rojava stands for Syrian Occupied Kurdistan, and Rojhalat stands for Iranian Occupied Kurdistan. The second choice is, skip saying I'm Kurd from Turkey, or I'm Kurd from Iranian Kurdistan, or Syrian Kurdistan. Because it's not Syrian Kurdistan, it's not Iranian Kurdistan, it's not Iraqi or Turkish Kurdistan. Start saying, for example, I'm Kurd from Turkish occupied Kurdistan. Because then you are not normalizing the occupation, you are highlighting it as a problem. By saying I'm from Syrian occupied Kurdistan, you are pointing out that Kurdistan is occupied by, for example, Syria and you are not normalizing the occupation. For those who have seen my videos on this channel, I always say Turkish occupied Kurdistan, Iraqi occupied Kurdistan, Syrian occupied Kurdistan or Iranian occupied Kurdistan. You can also start by using these terms and tell your friends and relatives to do so too. If the Albanians, the Palestinians and all other people out there fighting for their cause aren't doing it, why should we? 